This is the easiest and the most beginner friendly elite boss that we've had in a very very long time and you absolutely have to play this one. So if you guys have been paying attention to the boss events recently you might have noticed that well we've had a bunch of you know very difficult bosses especially you know the 400% vortex incident that was that was a very difficult one actually people including myself were not able to beat it even using monkey knowledge I had to use some powers actually in that one. But after that Ninja Kiwi has actually kind of trying to you know tone things down a little bit and this is a super easy boss i mean if you take a look at the modifiers there aren't any there's not a single modifier in this boss event and almost all the towers are out you can have all of your heroes and there are only two farms but that's not exactly a problem because this is a map which is meant and this entire boss event is meant for you to farm using boats and so this is probably the easiest boss event that we're going to see in a very very long time which basically means free rewards for everyone and the idea for this one is you just buy buccaneers so that's how you're supposed to farm you're supposed to farm by using the bomb pad buccaneers so you buy as many of these guys up as possible and then that is actually about it <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. So the way we're gonna start off the farming is I'm just gonna buy both of these farms. We can have only two farms. So I'm just gonna buy them. It's gonna be like two or three marketplaces just to get things going and then after this I'm gonna go for merchantmen obviously the bottom pan boats but you want to be very efficient with this thing so I'm actually gonna sell this free dog monkey that we placed at the start and I'm gonna buy a village. This is gonna be a discount village. I'm gonna have it like this and then when we buy the radius uh, basically all these merchantmen upgrades which are tier three are gonna just get some huge discounts and that's incredibly efficient so you want to be doing Doing this as much as possible so just to show you guys the merchantman costs 2.4k and once you have a double discount village this costs 1,990 so that's about 410 dollars in discounts that you're getting per merchantman and keep in mind we're gonna buy a bunch of these guys so yeah these discounts are gonna pay off big time so you want to have them all right so the first tier of boss is about to appear and so usually the way that I would defend this is I would have a sticky ninja and then I would have attack which I see that the spot like here at the top is the perfect spot for attack but the problem is attack is banned in this one and usually you know I would just get the blade maelstrom and use the ability on each of the skulls when it gets proc because this is Blunarius but today because we don't have the attack I'm trying to I'm gonna have like a boomerang and I was thinking of having it like this and then when we buy the favorite trades eventually we're gonna sell this thing in the range of the favorite trades boat and we're gonna get some money back so first off let's get a 402 boomerang and then here at the bottom under the range of the discount village i want to get a sticky ninja and i hope that this is gonna work so let's go like this and let's be a little bit faster actually with this one so yeah there we go we just got the money for this i'm gonna get the sticky ninja and then you know what i just want to be careful i'm not sure if this is necessary but i just want to be careful so let me get something like a 300 alchemist for this boomerang and i feel like this should be enough i mean it's gonna be kind of slow to be fair because it's you know it's just a sticky ninja and this thing got nerfed like a, i think it was last update so now one sticky projectile does 450 instead of 500 damage so that's about 10 percent less but it should be fine overall right let's just see how we do yeah, there we go. So the boomerang cleans up no problem. So this is going to take a little while, but I feel like we have this thing. Let me just keep farming. So let me get the favorite traits onto this guy. And then honestly, since it's only tier three on these guys and we cannot upgrade them any further, I think we should sell them and we should go for the trade empire actually. So let's get the trade empire. Let's get the small merchantmen going. Let's get the army of merchantmen going. These guys are also going to provide some, you know, a little bit of extra damage because the trade empire does give extra damage to all the merchantmen boats. So I guess there are going to be a little bit of help versus, you know, these ceramic waves. And hold on, how's the top lane looking oh that's a huge wave of reds i think we're gonna be fine i'm gonna buy this and this is gonna be the last call proking i want to get the monkey town into the monkey city actually are we gonna defend this thing because this is a huge wave actually and hold on are we doing fine there's gonna be a lot of leagues but yes we have it 48 lives that's it was kind of close but actually we got it so it's no problem so there we go that's gonna be a tier one and i actually want to turn off all the star before we proceed with this thing so as soon as this round ends we are wait did i not Wait a minute, I thought I turned it off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's sell this thing. Let's sell a bunch of these guys. And let me upgrade first off to the Monkey City. This is going to give the village a little bit of extra range. And let me try and fit all of the other merchantmen inside the range of the village. And this is what I'm going to be doing, guys. Because this is essentially what, what this boss event is. And yeah, just buy merchantmen and have them make money. And that's going to be about it. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right, so it's round 59. The tier 2 elite boss is about to appear. And so here's how I want to defend this thing. I usually buy a Glaive Lord, which is really nice one because of the orbiting glaze. Because the tier 2 elite Lunarius spawns BFBs and so I kind of want to have the Glaive Lord plus the mat because this thing is not banned this is obviously you know one of the best towers that you can have versus the tier 2 elite bosses so as soon as we get the money for this thing it should be you know pretty easy to clean this thing out you know as I mentioned this is one of the easiest bosses because there are no restrictions you basically have all of the best towers in the game you know working for you so I don't think that this is going to be an issue you know unless you kind of mess it up yourself but I don't think that that's possible honestly oh by the way a quick you know efficiency thingy I bought this favorite trades boat right here next to both of our guys so that when when we eventually sell them we 
are gonna get you know some money back or at least some extra money back but yeah this is exactly what i was talking about so a huge waves of balloons but it's not an issue because the glaive lord takes care of of the small balloons essentially and just the mat goes to town onto balloon areas and this thing should be over in no time but let's not forget to farm so i i was buying a bunch of merchantmen but i i'm not sure if this is the correct thing to do by the way do you go for like the favorite traits once you bought the 20 merchantmen or do you spam small merchantmen so i'm kind of doing both things i bought a bunch of merchantmen but i'm gonna go back and buy the favorite trades boats now and there it is this is gonna be the last call let me just target like this we're gonna have one more mad ability so many balloons coming out of lunarias but again not an issue not an issue when they give you the best towers and when they allow you to farm as much as possible it's not gonna be close in any way but yeah that's gonna be the tier two getting defeated and so uh let me just turn off all the start and let's just wait a minute it did the same thing i turned off all the start and the round started again just like previous time what, what's happening with this one yeah there we go i think i just pressed the all the start at the wrong time but that's completely fine so let's sell all of these guys both of our defending towers and so we have one hundred forty-five thousand dollars. and you guys won't know what this means it means more merchantmen i'm gonna fill the entire map with merchantmen i'm gonna keep upgrading to favorite trade boats and i'm gonna see you guys for tier three and around 79 so the next boss is about to appear and just take a look at how beautiful it looks like when all of these boats make money so we're at 160 000. i think they make yeah they make about sixty thousand dollars per round so about 40 rounds until the tier 5 boss so that's gonna be 2.4 million dollars out of which we're gonna use let me just buy the apex plasma master by the way let's just get this thing going uh, and out of those 2.4 million dollars we're gonna need 550 000 uh, for the for the uh, nave arc actually because you want to be getting the nave arc it's gonna be a super high degree and then i guess the rest 1.9 million we could use to get something like an ace paragon or whatever it is, it's gonna be but we're gonna keep the dog monkey paragon as well so uh yeah this is how things are gonna go i mean this is like a super easy setup right we just bought the sacrificial dog monkeys and you just let this guy go to town and he's definitely gonna you know he's gonna defeat Blunaris by itself because it is a degree 34 dart it's a tier 3 Blunaris it's not that strong and yeah this is what I meant when I said that this is an absolutely you know this is an easy boss this is a very beginner friendly a very easy boss that everyone can beat even if you're not you know into elite bosses even if you're just like someone that normally plays just the normal bosses right and you just kind of stay away from the elite ones this is an elite that you absolutely have to try because you're gonna beat this thing 100% soon. so there goes the tier 3 and after we are done with the tier 3 I, I can't guess there's honestly nothing else to do <laughs> like like and maybe if you want to farm a little bit more you can do some what you can do some sport shinnick drops maybe you can do some sniper drops supply drops but other than that if you just want to chill you can just leave this setup and let it do its thing and you know what i'm gonna go for the goliath actually as my last paragon so i'm gonna buy the flying fortress now just so he starts getting some pops and i'm gonna see you guys right tier four and yes round 99 so the tier four boss is about to come out i don't think i'm gonna buy any more new paragons actually i think i'm gonna let this guy the dark paragon on degree 34 i'm gonna have this guy try his luck actually so i just, <laughs> i just bought this sniper this is gonna be like a cripple mob sniper which is supposed to amplify the damage just by a little bit and honestly do we want to buy the ace paragon right now because the i, I guess the nave arc is gonna be you know the buccaneer paragon is gonna be the, the one that's gonna be doing the majority of the damage so why don't we get this guy the uh the goliath actually a little bit sooner so let me go like this and let's put it's not a lot of money it's gonna be like three hundred thousand. but let's just give this thing everything this is probably you know the weakest goliath that you guys have seen but it's fine because it synergizes with the boat paragon which is gonna give it a little bit of extra attack speed so it's all good for now let's actually use the ability so here's blunarius and i'm actually gonna have the ability go like this and so let's try and hit the hit blunarius with the with the uh, goliath ability actually so let me use it like this let's see how much damage this thing is gonna do it's gonna do a decent oh my god that was too call it once you guys see that at the top <laughs> that's insane and are we gonna get one more goliath ability i really hope so uh where did i did i change this thing let me just change the targeting on the ability go like this and i feel like oh no these guys they're doing way too much damage i mean honestly it's just the tier 4 boss so let's use the ability and this thing should finish the boss this is a lot of spawns a lot of things happening on screen actually this is a part of a recent change that happened where Lunaris is spawning random balloons actually so it's bfbs it's moabs and every one percent of hp that this guy loses he's just spinning them all across the map so uh yeah that's <laughs> so that's a thing but actually when you get the paragons it's not even an issue and round 119 and let's welcome tier 5 elite lunarius like we're supposed to so let's buy the navark let's put all the money that we have into this thing it's gonna be a pretty high degree i think i saw 84 actually that's gonna be oh my god that's insane <laughs> it's an 84 navark yeah this guy's gonna win by himself isn't it so here comes the tier 5 elite lunarius i have the ability set up so i'm just gonna use it and 
and let's see how much the ace ability is gonna do not that much actually because it's only degree 22 that's a little surprising but look at everything that this guy's spinning so he's spinning ddt's and 45 zomgs and this is a part of the new changes because keep in mind these are not 45 zomgs these are ramped up 45 zomgs because it's around 121 and then the spawns on a skull are 45 bats yeah you're gonna need a lot of damage to deal with this thing but thankfully this wasn't exactly you know a difficult event as i you know keep mentioning i know but if you guys don't play these elite bosses this is your chance to get like your your free rewards your free tier 4 insta monkey and a bunch of trophies and, and and you know a bunch of monkey money and everything that comes with it so yeah definitely a pretty fast clear onto this boss round 123 i think around 124 this guy's gone we only have uh one more ability from the goliath i think in the tank so let me just use it let's see how much damage it makes again not that much not that much really like this is this is not the the ability that you usually expect because it's only a degree 22 but it does get a little bit of extra tank speed thanks to the uh thanks to the nave arc actually because it's the the buff carries over right the buff that you have in the flagship carries over to all the other aces and this goes through the ace paragon as well but that's gonna be it you know it's gonna be the tier 5 elite moneras just getting done really quickly a 402 alchemist though we got this the insta monkey really nice and let's see a review map for a second see who got the most pops so 26 million on this guy but keep in mind he was only here for the tier 5 boss 29 on the Goliath, but we had this thing for the tier 4 as well, and then 11 for the Dark One. He kind of expected he's, you know, the, the early boss Paragon, I guess. So that's going to be it for this one. This was the Elite Blunarius, and if you guys are not into Elite bosses in general, you should definitely take your chances against this one, because you are going to win. This is probably the easiest Elite Blunarius that we're going to have in a very long time. But yeah, as I mentioned, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'm going to see you on the next one.